hi welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing a get ready with me and we're going to be testing out the new iphone 14 pro which is what we are shooting on right now and i'm also going to throw in some shots comparing my canon to this one and we're going to see which one looks better keep in mind this is the front facing camera because um yeah i need to be able to see myself i'm using this as a mirror slash everything else so Let's just get into it because I'm, I'm not one for long intros or outros because I don't I just don't know how to handle them. Bum, bum. All right. First things first, we're going to throw on a little vitamin C. It's just blurred. It's fine. Ta-da. All right. There we go. Next, we are going to do a little bit of moisturizer. Very simple skincare routine today. Um, and lately, I've actually really been liking adding in a little bit of argon oil. Whoa, whoa, hold up. So I've been adding in argon oil to my moisturizer because this one isn't very... It's a little light for me. I like something a little more moisturizing, I guess. So there we go. Next up, we're going to throw on some eye cream. And I have such a good hack for eye cream, guys and gals. Such a good hack because it's free, sort of. <laughs> so at Sephora, they uh, give you points. And lately I've only been buying eye creams via points and they come in these little tiny things, which I feel like is such a perfect size for eye cream because I feel like the bigger ones take so long to get through so I don't know I just feel like it's a perfect size because you only need such a tiny bit so that's my that's my hack <laughs> it's really not that special of a hack but it's my hack <laughs> all right time for some sunscreen okay that wasn't very much we're gonna add a little more because Sun protection is important, even though there's a bunch of crazy people online that say sunscreen's bad for you. It's not, okay? It's just, they're insane. <laughs> they are crazy. I just, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so, wear some damn sunscreen, okay? Wear one that you like, and all will be well. <laughs> all right, there we go. We got our skincare pretty much done. Okay, I'm going to show you, showing you guys my, like, if I'm really to get ready, which I don't wear a lot of makeup, and I definitely don't want this to be a thing where people are, like, trying, I don't know. Anytime I talk about not wearing a lot of makeup, it's always the comments of, like, oh, you don't need it, or I love that you don't blah, 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 or you don't look fake, or you're not plath. Like, there's always these weird comments like that. And quite frankly, the reason why I don't wear a lot of makeup is because I'm really not that good at putting it on. <laughs> like if I was good at it, I would probably wear more of it. Um, I also really appreciate other people's makeup skills. I just don't have any, <laughs> as you can see. We're just gonna use my fingers and we're using my iPhone. So this is gonna be tragic. I have a feeling this is this is not gonna be a good situation oh god don't take makeup advice from me by the way but this is how I do really natural makeup first step don't know how to do makeup <laughs> step one have terrible makeup skills why am I just using my hand I just clean my makeup brushes but you know what sometimes I feel like your fingers do a really good job and I'm too lazy to clean makeup brushes, so um, there's that. Okay, now I'm going to get you guys to look over here. <laughs> well, I guess I'm looking over here, but uh, I wanted to compare the iPhone versus the Canon R6. Um, and let me know what you guys think. I mean, I can definitely tell just from looking at the screens here, like the Canon. I mean, the Canon's just beautiful, you know? This is just such a beautiful, you can see my ring light in the back. You can, there's a bunch of crap in the back, just, it's fine. Um, 
Yeah, I mean the Canon's just beautiful. I love Canon. I am a Canon. I I just love Canon, okay? <laughs> I really do, so. I have no idea how well I'm doing this, but let's add some highlighter now. We're gonna add the highlight. Oh God, I feel like I'm doing such a bad job. This is really hard to do, hold on. I'm, the iPhone's a little bit better of a mirror than the Canon is. The Canon lens is uh, a little big, okay? It's so big. Oh. <laughs> but there we go. This is definitely... Okay, well, the battery just died in the Canon. So we'll see if we ended up getting that footage or not. Hopefully it's saved. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna finish on here cause that thing died. Oops. Um, I think we're good though. Is this good? We're gonna kind of smooth out the bottom there. I think that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. There was a bird. <laughs> All right, let's do the lips cause my lips are feeling kind of dry. I actually really like this stuff. It's like, um, they call it a lip serum. As you can see, I'm almost done with it. Where's the thing? There it is. But yeah, this is a lip serum and I've almost used all of it, which is pretty good for a lip product. <laughs> okay, so I throw that on and then I do this, um, like it's like a lip mask balm thing, whatever you want to call it. I almost rarely put any kind of color on my lips because, mm, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't have the patience to deal with it. All right, so we got the blush, we got the lips, we have sunscreen, that's basically the foundation. I almost never wear foundation anymore. And now this is gonna be the tricky part of doing mascara using a iPhone camera. Which, let me just say this, I know I'm probably talking to majority dudes here, but you know, if you wanna wear, wear, wear mascara, it's cool. This stuff is amazing. It's like an eyelash primer and it conditions your lashes. And I'm just gonna say it's awesome because I don't wear fake eyelashes. Not because I don't think they look good or because I think they shouldn't be worn. I don't wear them because I'm slightly allergic to adhesives. <laughs> My eyelids get extraordinarily irritated and itchy and even like sometimes I've gotten like a little bit of a rash on my eyelids. I don't wear them anymore. I gave up because it was just, I don't know why I even tried in the first place. And like eyelash extensions, I think are awesome in ways, but the upkeep is just, it's brutal, man. They like barely last two weeks barely at least for me they didn't and then on top of that they're just so expensive and I don't know it's just too too much for me to deal with that and again like if the adhesive gets on my actual skin at all they're just like oh it's painful so I don't do it so I'm left with just figuring out good mascara which my other trick, I haven't bought mascara in forever because I use Sephora points and I get the little mini ones. <laughs> Which is perfect for me because I don't wear that much makeup and I can't get through a whole tube of mascara ever. Like I can't ever finish one within the amount of time that they say you should be using it for. With the little ones, last about three months, I feel like. So no eye infections, you know, that's a good thing. Oh my God, this is very difficult, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way worse, but this is a nice little transformation of a like natural uh, makeup, I guess. I feel like I'm really good at putting on makeup and looking like I don't have much on, but... <clears throat> That's the stupidest comment ever because I don't have a lot on. I have like the bare minimum. 
on when it comes to makeup. And then so I actually use two different mascaras, or at least right now I do, because this the tip of this thing is so thick. Like it's really awkward to do the bottom lashes and this one is really thin and I just find it to be so much easier to like get the finishing touches. And yeah, I have a really weird skill of being able to put on mascara without opening my mouth. When I was in high school, I decided I didn't like it, so I trained myself to be able to do it. Because I thought, like, I don't know, I just wanted to not do it. <laughs> but sometimes I do, just when I'm not, like, thinking about it. But if I, like, think about it, I could totally do it without opening my mouth. See, look at that. Here's the thing with makeup, too. Like, I feel like a lot of it, which people don't necessarily understand... A lot of it is just accentuating the features you already have. And now we're going to do the hair because I slept in these braids and they're a hot mess. We're going to do braids again because my hair has just been annoying me lately. <laughs> it's like I have like all this new growth that just like I have so much new growth in my head and it's just so awkward. Um, I know. Don't complain about your hair growing. Nah. <laughs> but it is awkward and sometimes I'm like I don't know what to do with it so I'm gonna try out using because I, I think realistically I just need a product to help smooth things a little bit so we're gonna give this a try which I recently bought this um, it's a leave-in conditioner which I didn't realize this is actually more for like curly hair but I mean I guess my hair is like it is wavy so does that count I realized my hair, I always thought it was stick straight, and I realized recently that it's actually not. It has, like, a little bit of a wave to it, but I'm like, I don't know how to, like, handle that. So, they say you can use this when your hair is dry, so we're going to kind of use this as, like, a little bit of a styler. So, wish me luck. I've, I haven't tried doing my hair like this with this yet, so... But I basically just want the flyaways to stay down and I'm going to see if this actually works. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm over all the flyaways that I have. Ooh, smells good. I actually like that this product doesn't have like a crazy scent to it. It's pretty mild. I don't like stuff that's really scented. Um, I desperately have tried to find hair products <laughs> that aren't scented and it is almost impossible. And the ones that are unscented suck. Like they do not work for shit. They're awful. I've tried quite a few of them and every one I've tried is just terrible. I don't know what it is. I, is it like whatever makes the product work smells really bad so they need to put fragrance in it to like, I don't know what it is. They just don't work well. <laughs> and I'm venting about it because I really wish more hair care products were unscented. Cause I don't like a lot of fragrance, but I've realized with hair care products, I kind of have to get over that because it just doesn't exist. All right, so we're going to braid the hair. I'm not an expert braider. I actually kind of suck at braiding my own hair. Like I can't do French braids or anything. All I can do is a really basic braid like this. But I'm finding since my hair is starting to get a little bit longer, it's becoming a little more unruly. So this is the best we can do. Okay, so let's do the other side here. I'm gonna see, I don't know if I, how this texture is gonna be like throughout the day or if it's gonna get like annoying, but I think it'll be fine because I need to wash my hair in like a day or two anyway so which this is just a leave-in conditioner so okay and I have to say so far this looks pretty good on my phone I mean I'm curious how it's gonna end up looking once it's edited and on YouTube um, but this does look pretty good at least for now I might end up shooting more on my phone <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my hair in braids <clears throat> while my hair grows out. <laughs> it's been so unruly. I feel like I've been having like a lot of hair fallout lately. I don't know why, but I don't know. Sometimes you just get more than others. I'm trying not to overthink it, but I'm like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> so it's fine. Or is it? <sighs> Stuff does smell good though. I will give it that. The smell isn't like annoying. All right. Now that our hair is more like being less of a frizzy mess. I don't know if this is just going to make my hair really like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be too much or not, or if it's actually going to absorb over time, but I'll probably have to let you guys know another time if you actually want to know. I'm going to put this back in though, because this thing's kind of cute. It's a little silk um, headband thing. I don't know. I think it's cute. So we're going to throw that in today because why not? Woo! All right. That is, uh, that is it. That is that. This is that. <laughs> that was our excruciatingly long and tedious makeup and hair routine. <laughs> not really though. I'm actually pretty simple when it comes to getting ready, mostly due to laziness. I'll be very honest. I am not also, I'm just not that good at doing a lot of things either when it comes to like hair and makeup. So yeah, don't come at me. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back next week. And if there's any type of content that you want me to create, anything you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys very soon. Bye for now. And I just want to add, Canon is always going to be better than an iPhone, I think. I think, I don't know, dude, these things, these things are getting good quick. Like you can see inside my pores. Look at, you can see all the little hairs on my face. Yes, I have little hairs. Look at that. Oh, and just for reference, this is the back facing camera for the iPhone. So this is, this is what the back facing camera looks like. Let's get nice and close. Is it too clear? I don't know. It might be too clear. <laughs> Let's get a nice close up of my skin. All right, this is this is this is the camera. Let me know which one you guys actually like the best cuz I'm kind of interested cuz that might change how I film content or it might not. I don't know. All right. Bye.